In recent weeks, the media has been powerfully used by the pro-euthanasia lobby and some MPs to launch a carefully calculated and emotionally driven campaign to legalize assisted suicide in the UK. The House of Lords will today debate whether the law on assisted dying needs clarifying. Peers will discuss a proposal by Lord Faulkner calling for people not to be prosecuted for helping someone who is terminally ill to travel abroad to die. The recent cases of Derby Purdy, Daniel James and Kay Gilderdale caught the headlines within minutes of the judge's rulings and were promoted as proof positive of the need for a change in the law. Why should we be concerned? What is the problem with legalising assisted suicide? First and foremost, we have to stress that we have an immense compassion for people who find themselves in difficult situations, facing illness and dependence upon others. However, we must be very careful. There are very serious reasons why the law should stay as it is and why assisted suicide should not be legalised. The law on assisted suicide exists to protect the most vulnerable in society, those who may feel their life is not worth living. If assisted suicide is legalised, the right to die will all too possibly become a duty to die. How will the law protect vulnerable people from the risk of abuse by relatives acting not with compassion but with selfish motives? The sick and the elderly may find themselves feeling that they are a financial burden to their loved ones. They may, might feel that they would be better off dying. Imagine if assisted suicide is legalised, how easy it would be for someone to feel obliged to die. In Oregon, for example, where assisted suicide is legal, terminally ill patients Barbara Wagner and Randy Stroop were denied treatment by the hospital and were instead offered help to die, offered help to kill themselves. Euthanasia without consent or where consent cannot be given is persistent in Holland, despite this being illegal. It is therefore a lie, which is often repeated, that regulating assisted dying by legalising it brings the practice into the open and makes it somehow better. In December 2008 and March 2009, Prime Minister Gordon Brown signalled his opposition to legalising assisted suicide, saying that he is totally against changing the law in this area. Many other top politicians, lawyers, doctors, nurses and members of the public expressed serious concerns about the legislation. The medical royal colleges and the British Medical Association take the same stance. Our parliament has decided several times that assisted suicide should not be legalized. They are all aware of the issues involved and know why they should be alarmed. I think the pressures coming from the media, a very well funded, carefully orchestrated campaign by Dignity in Dying, the pro-euthanasia lobby, and clever use of a few exceptional cases which have been employed really to mould public opinion. I think a lot of Christians are confused about euthanasia and it's not surprising when they're seeing these very difficult cases often dramatised on television. There's a huge need out there for educating Christians about what the Bible teaches, what the dangers of euthanasia will be, what's available in terms of good palliative care, and really getting Christians up to speed. The church really has been largely silent on this issue, and that's a huge tragedy, and, and we've got a huge responsibility as CMF to help rectify that. If this law on assisted suicide is changed, even with strict limitation as we are so often told, who knows what unintended consequences there will be. Legalising assisted suicide is unnecessary, it is dangerous and it is wrong. Legalising it will lead to feelings of acute abandonment, bad medical practice and a disregard for the innate value of human life. To get involved, please write to the Director of Public Prosecutions, Keir Starmer, and voice your opposition. You can also write to your Members of Parliament and ask them to sign Jim Dobbin's early day motion. Complain to the BBC about their massively biased coverage. Forward this video to Christians everywhere. Pray for a miracle. Do not be deceived by a clever media campaign that caused killing someone compassionate and merciful. True compassion is in care.
not killing.